Nice. Good work, boys. Good work, boys. Yes. Okay. Let's go and build some. So. Hi everyone, Ron here from Inertion. Just wanted to give a quick pre-explanation to this final video in the China documentary series. Firstly, it was a great trip and experience and I want to thank all of you for coming along with us on this journey. But that journey actually ended at the end of August. We have made a lot of changes to the Raptor since this video was shot, some of which you'll see in the form of samples later in the episode, namely the new handle design and the deck of the Raptor 2.1. I wanted to reassure people that we've made plenty of progress in finalizing the Raptor 2.1 design and getting it ready for production next month, alongside the launch of the Foxbox Unity. I hope you enjoy the last three days of this trip, showing the full assembly processes of the last Raptor 2.0 models that were sent out. Yeah, I found them. Yeah, we got plenty. Let's go. But these are the correct ones. All the bad ones, throw them in the garbage. We don't want them. And, and it's and it multiple. Yeah, no, you're tightening it. Is that clear enough? We gotta write what the torque measurement. Uh, just going through all of the assembly instructions for each station. Almost done with them. Just need some clarification. Do you think we'll be able to get a taxi on the street at this time, Jane? I think we're gonna go. Can I see how you do that? Okay, look, it's nice, easy. And then just click that and do the next one. See how easy? Okay, so it's lunchtime now. We've been in China for 11 days, I think. Is that right, right? 11 days. Um, we're heading home in. Uh, a few hours basically you know our trips over so this is our last full day on the production line you can see behind me we've got Raptors here we've got Raptors over there you know productions underway unfortunately our big target that we wanted to reach just isn't gonna happen uh, and the reason being is we have new motors and you can see here they look a little bit different than the, the previous batch the same size motor, um, performance basically the same. But we made some DFM changes, which basically means to manufacture them in time, not now obviously, because we don't have them, but in time will be faster, the processes will be better, and ultimately I think better quality. But we just didn't get all of our motors, you know, there's a huge amount of motors 
that are just gonna arrive a little bit too late. We've certainly got some, as you can see here, and we're gonna build a whole bunch of Raptors with them, but we're just not gonna hit our targets. So we're expecting another batch of motors to come either today or tomorrow, and then maybe a week later, another batch of motors. Obviously we won't be here, but that doesn't change what's gonna happen. All of the procedures in place, when the motors come in, the rest of the boards will be assembled and they'll get shipped out straight away. Unfortunately, just a bit slower than we'd planned. But most importantly, what we have done is completely turned the place on its head, essentially, and went through all of the, the procedures, all of the steps, to make sure that when stuff goes together, it's just done right. One thing that we've done during this trip is to make sure our standard operating procedures are all up to date and that all the information is correct. You can see here, we're still making small notes and small changes as we observe the process and as we see what the workers are doing. Uh, this one here is saying it's a torque measurement. So on the tool, what is the torque that the tool should be set at to install one of the little screws into the out wheels? And we've done that all the way around the production line. You can see there's little steps, little key instruction points that basically show people how to put it together and it's so important to get it right. Um, there's probably five or six major things that we had to go through there. One is the torque. Getting the correct torque on all of the, the nuts and the screws and the bolts, so important. Putting thread locker on the right section of threads is so important. And then finally, one of the key things is just when it's all put together, doing the test that tell you whether it's working or not. That's so important to get a proper product made to a high quality and out. It's unfortunately really slow and painful, but that's what we're here to, to fix. Goodbye workshop. So, Barra's first trip to China. Oh, I think it's gonna go in with a lot of different skill sets. Um, it's, it's inside that you just can't get any, any other way. And hopefully, I mean, showing these sort of videos gives people a little bit of that inside because it's crazy here. You know, it was once described to me by you as the Wild West out here. And everyone's a fucking cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest things are obviously recognizing problems. Uh, I think that's a huge thing, but also working out the best ways to resolve issues. And, and I think that's one of the keys that he's seen. Um, and he's a writer himself. He's, he's right deep, so he knows exactly how it feels to be in this situation. But now understanding that even at the base level, the root level, if you identify an issue, there's a certain way that you've got to approach the solution. It's not as simple as saying, hey, you guys are doing this badly, do it this way. You know what happens? Nothing. And he's seen that now. He understands that now. And there's a lot deeper communication that needs to happen to actually affect change. And, and I think that's the biggest thing that he would have learned from this mission. I agree. Goodbye, Barra. <laughs> have a good trip, man. Barra's going home. Uh, in the morning, early, so we're gonna go have dinner with him and um, wish him wish him a good trip back to Chicago. He has been amazing for us here. It's been great to have him here. Our customers are only gonna benefit from the knowledge that he's got. Um, he, he's got to see the whole operation, so he's gonna he's gonna be ready to go. No, but it's good. You did a fucking killer job. Yeah, definitely you a killer job. I'll bring you back. And I couldn't have done it without you.
in the past we've focused a lot on speed because we've had to get so many orders out but it's not the right approach what we must do now is just focus on quality unfortunately that means the output amount reduces that's just how those two metrics work so in this batch it's all about quality we just want the best stuff getting out to our customers and that's all we're focusing on at the moment I think it's a bit of a standout feature now. So we've just got back from lunch. It's our last day and the motor factory just rocked up with a fresh batch of motors. They're about to put them in the lift and we're taking them up. They're gonna build some more Raptors. Wow, oh, look at that. Yeah. These. Oh. Beautiful. They listen to us, man. They listen to our problems, you know. We went to the motor factory. We saw all their processes, saw what they were doing. Anything we didn't like, we said, no, it's got to be better. And they did it. Look at that little, it's like a hand grenade. <laughs> Bang! Blow the industry apart. No one can match this power. <laughs> what we're what we're expecting to see here is lower failure rates, better quality, less issues in the production line. So yeah, this shiny, heavy, amazingly powerful motor, which I love, is also something that I really hate because it prevented us from achieving our, our target in, in production and that sucks, especially when that's what was one of my primary objectives to come here and, and make boards. But you know what, at the end of the day, it's all about getting the best possible motor, the best possible quality and building the best possible skateboard. So they're finally here and they're perfect. Yeah, oh, that's man. beautiful. How shit should be, man. Precision trucks. Precision motors. Yeah, it's a good, tight, positive fitment.
Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got some skateboards built and the quality process now is in place. We, I don't think we made a lot of progress. So good. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of problems to solve and we've solved some and there's still more but that's what we keep doing, right? Keep solving problems, keep moving forward. Because soon, the whole assembly process is going to be so easy. Yeah. It's only going to get easier, and then those guys will be happy too. Okay. Bye bye. We'll okay. talk soon. Bye. We'll talk soon. Yeah. Wednesday. Have a meeting. Since this trip, we've sent out the last of the Raptor 2.0 models to waiting customers, thus ending the original process of what we started back in November 2016. But this is just the beginning for us. The 2.1 is the most refined and streamlined product we've ever created, and we can't wait for people to get their hands on it. As of the upload date of this video, we have another trip planned to China next month to oversee the Foxbox Unity and Raptor 2.1 production. It won't be documented in full, but we will be keeping our customers updated with what we achieve as we continue to be as transparent and open as possible. Thanks again for following along, and hit subscribe if you haven't already. We've got a lot of great content coming from the North American tour. Cheers, guys.